Soyuz TMA-19 was a manned spaceflight to the International Space Station and is part of the Soyuz program. It was launched June 15, 2010 carrying three members of the Expedition 24 crew to the International Space Station, who remained aboard the station for around six months. TMA-19 was the 106th manned flight of a Soyuz spacecraft, since the first mission which was launched in 1967. The spacecraft remained docked to the space station for the remainder of Expedition 24, and for Expedition 25, to serve as an emergency escape vehicle. It undocked from ISS and landed in Kazakhstan on the November 26, 2010. It was the 100th mission to be conducted as part of the International Space Station program since assembly began in 1998. <laughs> crew The Soyuz TMA-19 crew was confirmed by NASA on November 21, 2008. The mission commander is Fyodor Yurchikin of the Russian Federal Space Agency, who is making his third spaceflight. The other two crew members are Shannon Walker and Douglas H. Wheelock of the United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration and are designated flight engineers. TMA-19 is Wheelock's second spaceflight, and Walker's first. Backup crew Topic Launch Soyuz TMA-19 was launched by a Soyuz FG carrier rocket flying from Site 1 5th at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The launch occurred successfully on June 15, 2010, with the rocket lifting off at 21:35 coordinated universal time. After its separation from the last stage of the Soyuz FG rocket, Moscow Mission Control Center began controlling the Soyuz TMA-19 spacecraft. 9 minutes into the ascent, the spacecraft settled into a preliminary orbit of 200.16 by 259.16 kilometers, 124.37 by 161.03 miles with the inclination 51.62 degrees toward the equator. The Soyuz spacecraft successfully deployed the solar arrays for power generation and the antennas for navigational and communication systems. Telemetry data received from the Soyuz confirmed that the spacecraft was performing nominally. Prior to launch, assembly of the rocket and spacecraft had been underway for several months. The Soyuz FG rocket arrived at Baikonur on March 11, 2010, along with a Soyuz U which was slated to launch Progress M06M. The spacecraft itself was shipped from Korolyov on April 16, 2010, arriving at Baikonur by train three days later. Upon delivery, the spacecraft was moved to Site 254. On June 11, 2010, final inspections of the spacecraft were conducted, and the spacecraft was then encapsulated in its payload fairing to form the upper composite of the rocket. The next day, the upper composite was integrated with the upper stage of the rocket that was to launch it, and subsequently the launch escape system. This assembly work took place at Site 112 of the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Once this was complete, the upper stage was attached to the remainder of the rocket in the MIC. A state commission met of June 12 to approve rollout, which was authorized. Rollout to the launch pad began at 1 o'clock Coordinated Universal Time, 5 a.m. Moscow time, on June 13, 2010, with the rocket departing the MiG propelled by a locomotive. Rollout lasted around two hours, with the rocket traveling two kilometers, 1.2 miles, from the MiG to the launch pad. The winner and runner-up in the patch design competition were present to observe the rollout. Rollout operations were completed by 5 o'clock Coordinated Universal Time 9 a.m. Moscow time, when the rocket was erected on the launch pad. Docking 
Soyuz TMA-19 docked with the International Space Station on June 17, 2010 at 22.25 Coordinated Universal Time. It docked with the aft port of the Svezda module. Ahead of docking, the ISS handed over attitude control to the Russian orbital segment at 1900 Coordinated Universal Time, and at 1917 maneuvered to provide an optimum attitude for docking. At 2006, the automated rendezvous sequence started. The Kurs docking systems aboard the Soyuz and the space station were activated at 2052 and 2054 respectively. TMA-19 began station keeping at around 2008 Coordinated Universal Time, before it commenced its final approach at 2016. Twenty minutes after docking, hooks were closed securing the Soyuz to the station. Once this was completed, the ISS returned to its normal attitude. Attitude control was returned to the U.S. orbital segment at 2345 Coordinated Universal Time. Topic: Relocation. On June 28, cosmonaut Fyodor Yurchikhin, along with NASA astronauts Douglas Wheelock and Shannon Walker, boarded the Soyuz TMA-19 spacecraft and undocked from Svezda service module's aft port at 3:13 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time. They redocked it to its new location on the Rasvet module 25 minutes later as the two spacecraft were flying just off the coast of the Western Sahara on the west coast of Africa. The repositioning of the Soyuz TMA-19 was temporarily delayed due to an electrical breaker problem that delayed proper orientation of the 4B solar array on the space station's P-4 truss. The flight went according to plan. The event marked the first ever docking to the Rasvet module. The change of location released the Svezda port for the docking of Progress M06M. Topic: Undocking and landing. Soyuz TMA-19 undocked from the space station at 119 Greenwich Mean Time on November 26, 2010. The descent module landed on the central steps of Kazakhstan at 4.46 Greenwich Mean Time, four days earlier than originally planned. The landing had been set for November 30, but Kazakh officials decided to restrict air traffic before the start of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe Summit in Astana, Kazakhstan, set for December 1–2. The landing site was located 84 km away from the city of Arkalik. On November 25, 2010, the crew boarded Soyuz TMA-19 to return to Earth. After closing the hatchway between the Soyuz and the station at 22.14 Greenwich Mean Time, they donned their Sokol space suits and continued with the power-up operations. The crew also activated the Soyuz systems and removed the docking clamps. The undock command was issued at 1.20 Greenwich Mean Time when the Soyuz and the station was flying above the Russian-Mongolian border. The physical separation occurred three minutes later at 1 hour 23 minutes and 13 seconds Greenwich Mean Time after the separation from the station and at a short distance away, Soyuz TMA-19 executed the so-called separation burn. A 15 seconds burn to vacate the proximity of the space station. About two and a half hours later, at 3 hours 55 minutes and 12 seconds Greenwich Mean Time, the Soyuz spacecraft performed the deorbit maneuver which lasted for 4 minutes and 21 seconds, while it flew backwards over the south-central Atlantic Ocean on a northeasterly trajectory towards Asia. With the deorbit burn nominally accomplished, the recovery forces comprising 14 helicopters, 4 airplanes and 7 search and rescue vehicles were dispatched to the landing zone. At an altitude of 140 km, just above the first traces of the Earth's atmosphere, onboard computers commanded the separation of the three Soyuz TMA-19 modules. With the crew inside the descent module, the forward orbital module and the rear instrumentation module were pyrotechnically nominally jettisoned at 4.21 Greenwich Mean Time. 
Three minutes after the separation, with the heat shield of the descent module pointing towards the direction of travel, the Soyuz capsule experienced the first traces of the atmosphere entry into face. At 4.23 Greenwich Mean Time at an altitude of 400,000 feet above the Earth. Around 4.28 Greenwich Mean Time, the flight path of the capsule crossed the Mediterranean, Turkey and the Black Sea before flying over southern Russia and into Kazakhstan. At an altitude of about 10 km, onboard computers started a commanded sequence to unfurl the parachutes. Two pilot Parachutes deployed first, extracting a 24-square-meter drogue parachute. The parachute deployment reduced the velocity of the Soyuz capsule from 230 m per second to 80 m per second and assisted in the capsule's stability by creating a gentle spin for the Soyuz spacecraft. Once the drogue chute was released, the main parachutes were deployed. They further reduced the descent to 7.2 m per second. Initially, the descent module hung underneath the main parachute at a 30-degree angle with respect to the horizon and for the few minutes before the landing, then following the detachment of the bottom-most harness it hung vertically. At this time, flight controllers reported the Soyuz spacecraft was operating as expected on the automatic sequence. During the same time, they were successful in contacting the crew via the fixed-wing aircraft that served as the central command for the search and recovery forces. The recovery forces spotted the Soyuz TMA-19 around 4.36 Greenwich Mean Time. At an altitude of 5 km, the module's heat shield was jettisoned. At the end of the 163-day voyage, Soyuz TMA-19's landing was confirmed at 4.46 Greenwich Mean Time. The recovery team assisted the crew to exit the capsule. First out of the capsule was cosmonaut Fyodor Yurchikin followed by NASA astronauts Shannon Walker and Douglas Wheelock. After the successful landing, the Soyuz TMA-19 crew flew to Kustanai in Kazakhstan for the welcoming ceremony. Wheelock and Walker boarded a NASA jet waiting for them in Kustanai for the trip back to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Yurchikin headed for Star City, the home of the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Mission insignia The Soyuz TMA-19 patch design is based on a drawing by Evgeny Emelianov, the winner of the traditional patch contest organized by the Russian Federal Space Agency. His design shows the ISS and the Earth waiting for the crew to come back. <laughs> 